Hello everyone, I wanted to show you guys how to set up a virtual environment running Linux on your M1 MacBook Pro. Things are a little bit different because of the ARM chip and having to use UTM. I usually use VirtualBox, or I have in the past, but you have to use, you have to use UTM for the new M1 MacBook Pro. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download Ubuntu Server for ARM. 22.04 or any version you would like for ARM and then you also need to download and install UTM on your Mac um, so after you have that installed you're going to open up UTM you're going to create a new environment virtualize Linux and then you're going to select the ISO image and then here is the 22.0.4 ISO. And then you'll press continue, give it eight gigs of RAM, if you have enough to spare. And then give it some cores, how many cores your processor has. And then give it some storage, continue. Change the name to Ubuntu 22.04. Save, and then you're going to start it. Oops. Looks like I gave it too many cores. And we'll start it. And then you'll do install Ubuntu server. It's interesting. I feel like the Mac says it has 10 cores. Ten core CPU with eight performance cores and two efficiency cores. I guess the efficiency cores don't count. We'll just click through. We're good. Done. Don't need a proxy. Don't need that. Use the entire disk. Done. Continue, and then give it a server name, server, you give it your name, and the server's name, and then username, I'm just going to do the same, and then password, password, done, continue, I want to install open SSH server. Don't need any of those. And then it will install your server. All right, and then you can do cancel, update, and reboot once you're here. And then this is the kind of weird part. You tell it to reboot and it just hangs and gives you this black screen and never reboots. So you gotta turn it off, shut it down, Exit it out, and then you start it up again, but this time, in this little CD DVD area, you press clear, and then you start it again, and this will actually boot up the server that you just installed. So then it asks you for your login and your password, and here we are. So we've got the server, looks like we can reach the internet and there we go so another thing i like to set up is be, to be able to ssh into your machine from your command line so we'll do shut down now exit out and now we got to change the settings the networking settings so that you can ssh into our machine so you're going to change it to bridged slash advanced 
and then click save and then we're going to start up the server one more time and then we're going to grab this IP address so you do IP adder and then you see it is 192.168.1.118 so now you can go to your terminal start up a new terminal and then you SSH the name of your server mine is jesse at 192.168.1.118 then it'll ask for your fingerprint you'll type in yes and then it'll ask for the password and you type in your password and now we are in the server but we are able to use the terminal here so you can you know copy and paste from here so you know you can go like that and it's all good and all gravy okay that's it for the video um thank you for watching hope this helps let me know if you have any questions